Baghdad, Arizona. Baghdad was named in 1882 for a copper claim by W.J. Pace and J.M. Murphy. The town was built to house mine workers. Today, I'm driving on the left side of the road per the Baghdad Copper Mine rules. Five miles in, five miles back. And certainly you don't want to get lost here. If you miss a sign, you probably will be for at least a little while. Right now, I'm heading to the company scale house to weigh out. I expect it to be between 42,000 and 45,000 pounds of chalcopyrite, better known as copper ore minerals. Good morning. I made it in and out of the Baghdad mine without a scratch. It's five miles back through windy roads, driving on the left side, and dealing with a whole lot of orders and rules. Not the funnest thing I've ever done, but we made it out alive, and now I have a 44,000 pound load to deliver to Iowa. Safe, sound, and on time. Once you start leaving Baghdad, Arizona, about three to four miles out of town, you won't have a signal anymore because there's too many hills and valleys and and you don't want to get out there with a big truck where you can't turn around without a signal <laughs> so what i'm going to do i'm going to navigate from here to kingman arizona and then go east on i-40 we're heading to fort madison iowa and the most important thing i need to do before i leave is i need to make me some coffee aka go-go juice <laughs> organic with a touch of water heated not too heated you don't wait until it catches fire or dries up you want to stop the microwave before it boils over and spills out onto the floor of your truck it's happened lots of times <laughs> Good idea to check your brakes before you get on the big road. I'm gonna walk around real quick and check, see if I smell anything. Oh, it smells good. Look for any smoke or any smells of an overworked brake. If you have an overworked brake, you have a real issue. I don't smell anything. I don't see anything. And I'm gonna look 
back in here. I don't see a damn thing. That's bad. I mean, in other words, I don't see a damn thing that's bad there. And I'm kicking my tires to make sure they're fully inflated. You'll know if one is flat, if it's soft when you kick it. I don't see any smoke. I don't smell any smoke. I don't smell any burning metal, like brake burning. Everything's looking good. I'm going to get on the big road here. Check a couple more tires. It's all good. And we're off. As I drive the rolling stretch of Arizona backcountry, I start thinking about the route I'll be taking to get to Fort Madison, Iowa. I began pondering what adventurous or interesting stops I could make along the way. Ever since I started trucking, I loved running the old Route 66 every chance I could. And today I plan to stop what many call the birthplace of the Mother Road. Seligman, Arizona, 